विद्या दुख संयोग वियोगम योग संनितम सनिश्चयन योक्तव्य योगो निर्विण चेत हाँ भगवान से इस दैट दिस योग दिस इज कॉल्ड योग वॉट ही हैज एक्सप्लेन यर इज द ध्यान योग सो दिस इज द कल्मिनेशन ऑफ ऑल अवर साधना द कर्म योग एंड उपासना ज्ञान देन फाइनली दिस ध्यान इस कल्मिनेशन ऑफ ऑल द साधना भगवान डिफाइन्स दिस योग ही सेज तम विद्या दुख संयोग वियोगम योग संनितम योग दैट वर्ड योग मीन्स टू ज्वाइन टुगेदर to bring to yog together but here bhagwan is defining it in a different way altogether he says viyogam yogam yoga samnitam consider viyog as yoga viyog means to separate consider separation as yoga are everywhere we have understood to join together is yoga bhagwan likes to define everything differently in a in a more uh, unique way to the we can understand the very essence the very core of it he says that it is not exactly when we use the word yoga generally people feel that i am different and god is different we have to join together with god or that uh, i have to this uh, uh, many times we use that term na atma parmatma parmatma ke sath jodna chahiye apne aap ko wagere so we think there are two different uh, units i am atma there is parmatma so slowly we should come together and join ourselves so there is always the notion that there are two different units whether we call it jiva and ishvara or atma and brahma or atma and paramatma but here bhagwan says there are no two there is only one it has been covered it has been uh, what you call yeah covered by impurities and all so to disengage yourself from all these impurities which are there that itself you consider as yoga vidya dukha sanyoga at present there is dukha sanyoga means there is a union with sorrow has taken place how the union with sorrow has taken place because of our identification with the not self we have identified ourselves with what i am not i have imagined myself to be some someone else i have imagined myself to be a body i have imagined myself to be a human being i have imagined myself to be a mind and intellect and thoughts and emotions to disengage myself from all this various imagination itself bhagwan says is yoga to drop all that is falsely assume is yoga so tam vidya dukha sanyoga viyogam whatever sanyog is there just to viyoga and this viyoga is done separation is done by following this path of karma yoga upasana jnana dhyana what happens we just remove what all that which is not me negate them it is false only but it is assumed to be true so we keep on negating all that i am not and finally i alone remain but one says this is my definition of yoga this is yoga see in patanjali yoga sutra also patanjali rishi begins the yoga sutra by defining huh? अथ योगाशासन योगश्चित्तवृत्ति डिफाइन्स योग अश्चित्तवृत्ति टू क्वाइटन द माइंड इज कॉल्ड योग बट भगवान गोज लिटिल फर्दर हिस इज जस्ट क्वाइटनिंग द माइंड इज नॉट योग क्वाइटनिंग द माइंड एंड गेटिंग एब्सॉर्ब लेटिंग द माइंड गेट एब्सॉर्ब इन द सेल्फ इज योग बिकॉज जस्ट द माइंड रिमेनिंग क्वाइट इट सेल्फ विल नॉट हेल्प by constantly thinking contemplating on the self when the mind gets absorbed in the self that is yoga means all the concept of not self should get dropped once all attachment to all concepts and ideas about 
body, mind, intellect, everything gets dropped, then one reaches the state of aloneness or yoga or samadhi. Therefore, he defines Vyoga as yoga. Just as if, suppose I am holding a hot charcoal in my hand or a hot potato, hmm, and I am feeling very hot, what is the best way to do? Just drop it. Hmm? That is the easiest. Just drop. Similarly, Bhagavan says, just dropping everything that is attached to the self is called yoga. Vidya Dukkha Sanyog. We have the Dukkha Sanyog ho gaya hai. Vyogam Yoga Sanyatam. So this is the yoga which Bhagavan has explained in detail. Now he tells Arjuna, and through Arjuna he tells all of us, he says, Sa nishchayena yoktavya. You follow, you practice this with firm resolve. Nishchayena. This is very important. You just resolve firmly to practice this and then you will go ahead with it. See, unless we take strong resolve, we don't walk this path. It's a path to be walked very sincerely. It is not just as a, as a part-time job or something like that. It's something which is to be taken up seriously, sincerely. Hmm. So, nishchayena, with firm resolve, yoktavya, you follow this path. And that nishche when we do, then whole our body, mind, everything gets totally um, ready for this path then. Nishche should be there. Nishche has got its own interesting uh, strength in it. Again to tell you about the example of sleep, like at night and all, sometimes you feel sleepy. You know that you are sleepy. But still you want to do something, you want to watch some program, you want to check your mail, you want to just loiter around here and there, open the refrigerator and see what chocolates are there. You are sleepy. You know that if you f lie down on the bed, within five minutes you will sleep, you know. But still you will not do it, you want to do something else. But when you decide finally, chalo, so jate. When you decide, then after that decision, within five minutes you are asleep. Similarly, meditation, when we decide, okay, let me decide and reach the state of samadhi. Not as a practice, not as just uh, anything else. I want to reach the state of samadhi, turiya vasta, when we decide that decision has got a different strength and power. It gets conveyed to your mind. Mind can understand our sincerity. Mind knows whether this fellow is sincere or just time pass kar raha hai par. Mind understands. <laughs> so when we decide, then it's done. So sa nishchayena yoktavya yoga, this yoga, this dhyana should be practiced with firm resolve. Anirvinna chetasa. Anirvinna means without getting, uh, without getting distracted or without feeling lazy about it, uh, without, uh, with lot of enthusiasm, uh, with full enthusiasm, with full enthusiasm one has to practice this, not carelessly, not with uh, laziness, not half-heartedly, but with full enthusiasm, one should practice this. And if all the preparation, everything is done, then one reaches that, will reach that goal. So, sa nishchayena yoktavyaha, Yogo anirvinna chetasa. So what is this yoga? Bhagavan says, I have explained to you everything. Right from the point where, how you should sit, how to place the asana, then how to focus your attention, 
how to keep your body absolutely st uh, steady, then make your mind qu quiet, calm, become free of all fears, and meditate on that self. You will reach this state of supreme peace. You will like the your mind will become like that lamp flame kept in a breeze, uh, windless place, absolutely still, and you will experience supreme joy that even the greatest of sorrow will not disturb you. What Bhagwan has explained in detail, now he tells the same, shows the same path briefly in the following two verses. Gives a gist of what he has said. See here, uh, Bhagwan repeats because, uh, because of our weakness of our own mind. Unless things are repeated, it doesn't go inside our mind. We have to repeat it. Certain things have to be repeated a lot. Firo thoda thoda, little little it goes inside. So he, in a different words, he repeats the whole technique in the following uh, two verses. Sankalpa Prabhavan Kaman Tektva Sarvana Sheshataha Manasa Vendriya Gramam Viniyam Yasamantataha Shanae Shanae Ruparamit Buddhyadhriti Grahitaya Atma Sanstham Manakritva Nakinchida Pichintayet Sankalpa Prabhavan Kaman Tektva Sarvana Sheshataha Manasevendriya Gramam Viniyamya Samantataha Buddhya Dhriti Grihitaya Atma Sanstam Manakritva Nakenchida Pichintai Bhagavan says that Ultimately, you have to make the mind get absorbed in the self. But you begin by dropping the sankalpa. Sankalpa prabhavan kaman tektva. All desires which have arisen from sankalpa, imagination. Make the mind, when you sit on the seat of meditation, uh, the previous, uh, all those things we have to follow, the, the asana and all those things, once we have sat steadily. And once we have made the mind uh, focused on our, on the, on this meditation which we are doing, so bring the mind in the present moment and drop all the other desires from the mind. This is done with the help of our understanding, with the help of our intellect, by telling ourselves that I don't want anything else now. Sankalpa Prabhavan Kaman Tektva Sarvan Aseshataha. All desires are dropped. See, even a single other desire will disturb the process of meditation. It's like, a, a, like again, a sleep. Even one thought can keep the person awake. Ne? Because if thought is there, that person is awake or dreaming. Deep sleep state, all thoughts should disappear. Similarly, in the state of meditation, even one desire for anything outside will disturb. So no desire to hear, to see, to taste, to touch, 
all desires at the level of the senses are dropped by understanding that I, I am not seeking anything outside. Now I want to seek my own self. Most of our desires are born from fanciful imagination. Those fanciful imaginations are called sankalpa. So sankalpa prabhavan kaman stektva, dropping all these desires born of this imagination, asheshataha, completely, manasa eva indriya gramam viniyamya, then controlling all the senses through the mind, means not allowing the senses to go anywhere by giving them instruction through the mind, telling our eyes, ears, nose that you don't have to do anything. You just take a holiday, relax. No seeing, no hearing, no tasting. Mind tells the senses that you don't have to work. So controlling the senses all the senses with the mind, viniyamya samantataha, then this mind which has become steady because the senses have become steady, the mind has so become steady, no desires are there, then that mind is slowly and steadily made to think about the self. Shane shane ruparame, slowly and steadily one should try to quieten the mind further with the help of our intellect, with the help of our wisdom, with the help of understanding. Dhriti gruhitaya, with firm, with perseverance, with dhairya, with patience, with perseverance, with the intellect, with wisdom, we have to quieten the mind further and make it think about the self. Let all the thoughts and emotion only come regarding the self. And then shift the attention to the self. Atma sanstam manakritva, let the mind get absorbed in the self. The whole process Bhagavan briefly tells, each, each step might take its own time and may, uh, ha, uh, may involve uh, qualification, may involve great practice. So slowly and steadily when the mind is brought in the self, atma sanstha manakritva, having placed the mind in the self, nakinchit apichintaye, thereafter don't initiate any thoughts. Let the mind get dissolved in the self. Let the mind get dissolved in the self. See, in, uh, in when we go to sleep, the mind gets dissolved in the state of ignorance. But in meditation, the mind as though gets dissolved in that self, in consciousness. It gets absorbed in that consciousness. Only awareness alone remains. No thoughts, no emotions, pure awareness, impersonal, objectless, thoughtless awareness. Hmm. Alone is there. Atma sanstha manakritva na kinchidapi chintayet. So close your eyes and we will sit for some time. Keep all your books and pen and all down. Close your eyes. And just st sit still, bring the mind in the present moment. Don't let it go in the past or the future. Become intensely aware of your body. Intensely aware of your body. Mm. 
become aware of your breathing. Become aware of awareness itself. Be aware of awareness. Be aware of your own self. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om